everyone, I'm Rob Thorson. I'm the sales director here with uh, Rocket Equipment. Rocket Equipment's located in Omaha, Nebraska. We manufacture the Trash Rocket, and this video is here to kind of show you a little bit more about the Trash Rocket. Let's go check it out. So as you, uh, as you see, the Trash Rocket is a uh, permanently mounted trash chute. Um, you can see the construction of it. It's very, very beefy. It's all galvanized for corrosion resistance, uh, less maintenance. Um, it's got a tandem axle trailer. So you've got two 6,000 pound axles uh, to uh, support the, the rocket. The entire trailer itself is about 8,700 pounds. Um, so when you're towing it around, relocating it on the job site, you, know, you can pull it with a three quarter ton pickup, move it easily and get it to where you need on the, on the job. So as we're rock, walking around, a couple uh, features. First off, in order to stabilize your rocket, once you get it on the job site in the, in the location you need, it's got heavy duty outriggers on each corner. And that, those are there to obviously stabilize and make sure that it's safe while, while being used. Um, one of the things to remember we get asked a lot is, do I need to pull all four outriggers out? The answer is no. What you need to do in order to give yourself room for your dumpster, pull the outriggers out that are on the building side, which is where all the weight will be leaning over. Um, and then on the back side, you can just easily go straight down with the outriggers, making it uh, a smaller footprint and easier to, uh, to navigate around on the job. All right, so as far as how the rocket actually is powered, um, there's an ignition switch on the tower here. You'll turn that on, which ultimately uh, sends the, uh, the battery power to the uh, hydraulics inside. There's two deep cycle batteries, which makes this thing very low maintenance. Uh, there's a battery charger in here um, that you can plug, uh, plug in on this side using a regular 110 extension cord. You'll get about 90 minutes of runtime on a full charge, and you'll know where you're at as far as battery life right here with the battery indicator light. Um, that way your crews know if they need to plug it in out on the job site or not. The only other thing that we've uh, incorporated, which is kind of nice, is a, a small solar panel up here on the chute with a drip uh, trickle charge to the batteries. So if it's parked outside, it's not being used, it'll at least maintain the battery, uh, battery life for you. What I'm gonna do, just to kind of show you the inside of the, the chute and how the liner is constructed, I'm gonna kick the upper hopper up here So now that I've got that hopper up, let's go take a look at kind of what makes the rocket so easy to, to use and ultimately helps eliminate a lot of clogs, which are, are typical problems with, with your normal drop chutes. So here's the hopper that will be up on the building. And as you can see, it's lined with this hard uh, UHMW material. It's basically a really hard plastic uh, material. It's a quarter inch thick very wear resistant and slick and anti-static because whether you're throwing concrete or tile or asphalt shingles, concrete uh, decking, whatever, it'll slide down and, and maintain its uh, uh, strength. So the other thing I want to point out is these safety chains. The safety chains unhook on each side to get out of the way, ultimately to tie into a safety railing on a flat roof. If you're doing a steep slope, like a, a multifamily complex, you can take these chains off so they don't hang and, and get in the way of the, the, the roofers. So, but one thing to keep in mind here, these tires are here in case you wanna set it down on a parapet wall. You don't have to. The rocket will actually hang in the air and, and support itself so that you don't need to disrupt the building or have to worry about tying in, um, causing possible damage to the building. So. Uh, we get asked a lot about clogging and how does that, uh, do you have problems with that? The one thing that I want to show you is the choke point, I call it, at the top is 29 and a half inches wide. So as long as the debris gets through that opening in the upper hopper, the, the chute sections all widen out as it goes down the chute. So once it dumps into the main chute, it's 31 inches wide and then 33 and then 36 at the bottom. That way, if the guys have a piece that's too big or some debris that's too big, they're gonna know it on the roof. 
That way they can, uh, they can change it up or, or cut it down. So another great feature a lot of guys uh, have, have seen as a big benefit is this lower chute is able to be rotated up and down to divert trash into different parts of your dumpster. One big problem with drop chutes, everything drops in the same location and this helps divert the trash. We line this, this is a piece of AR steel. So that's taking the brunt of the impact of the debris coming down. Just make sure it keeps the, the, the equipment safe and, and keeps, uh, keeps debris moving where you need to. Let me show you real quick. I'll kind of put the chute up and down a little bit just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Like in this case, it's gonna be dumping straight into the dumpster. But as you raise it, you can see you can kick the trash into different, different locations or drop it back down if you need to. Ultimately saving your crews a lot of time, keeping debris going where you want it. One other key feature that we uh, upgraded on this Trash Rocket 5000 is the uh, swinging hitch. So with this model, uh, you can back it straight into the building or park it like this, which is parallel. But if you're backed in, you need to make some room for your dumpster. So you can pull one of these two pins out and fold it away, ultimately letting you park your dump trailer or dumpster right underneath the, the lower chute, which makes things a lot quicker and easier. We get asked a lot around dumpster clearance. You know, a lot of chutes, typical chutes, you know, don't have a lot of clearance. And so we added an articulated lift. Basically this lower boom is in place to lift up the lower chute into dump trucks, 40 yard dumpsters, um, tall dump trailers, whatever you're using. Another key feature of the trash rocket is, is this center slew ring, which basically allows the entire chute to rotate 270 degrees around. Um, key benefit of that is whether you're able to park it at a perfect angle on the property, you know, you can ultimately aim the rocket where you need to up on the roof line to make it easier for your crews when they're throwing debris down. One thing we get asked all the time is around maintenance. A lot of equipment, heavy equipment requires a lot of ongoing service maintenance. And uh, one thing we're proud of, the Trash Rocket really is very, very low maintenance. Obviously we talked about how it's electric, doesn't have a motor engine to maintain. Uh, what you do need to do, there's some grease cirques around the rocket at the rotation points and the, uh, the movement points. So you'll see a sticker uh, keep it greased a couple times a year, um, depending on use. Uh, the other thing we always point out is obviously there's hydraulic lines that run throughout the rocket. You know, every few uses, you know, just go around, check, make sure the fittings are tight, um, make sure there's air in the tires, and you'll be uh, you'll be good to go. You know, one one concern some customers have had is just where do I store this thing? You know, the trailer's 29 feet long, it's 12 feet 11 high. Um, you can definitely keep it outside, no issue with that. You know, you have aluminum, you got galvanized steel, so no issues storing your rocket outside in your back lot, just like you would a, a lift or a crane or any other sort of equipment. Thank you for the interest in learning more about the Trash Rocket. Um, please reach out at rocketequipment.com. We're on all social media platforms as well. There's a lot of great videos and footage. And if you'd like to see one in person, um, we can schedule a demo as well. So. Thank you very much and have a great day.